Hi, friends. Sorry, you no longer get to watch Marshmallow. Oh, no. Hold on. Apparently, things shifted on me. There we go. Now you don't need to see the light <laughs> stand. Hi. Welcome in. Hello, Jinjo Art. Welcome in. Thanks for visiting. Um, you'll forgive me. I'm having a crappy pain day. Um, I don't, I don't really have a specific pain condition, but some days my back is awful and today is one of those days. And, um, yeah, so I'm moving very slowly. I think a lot of it is because, like, with it being so cold, I have to wear extra cold weather gear to my shift in the morning because I'm a crossing guard. Um, so... I have to wear extra cold weather gear and it's heavy and then you know you're like bracing yourself against the cold all the time and I uh yeah yeah <laughs> uh well that's why I mentioned it I didn't want to you to necessarily think I had a pain condition but I mean I get it <laughs> um to a certain degree um so yeah I think so that pardon me was a part of it was I just needed to it was just the my usual my back sucks compounded with like extra cold weather gear and extra um you know extra bracing against the cold so it was a tough morning because it was very cold this morning out there in the wind <clears throat> and uh yeah because it's funny because i actually slept really really wo well last night which is unusual for me but then I woke up and I'm just, and then it's like all back achy and everything once I got outside. I just think it's the extra, because like my, um, I, the city I work for provides really good, um, cold weather gear compared to like other cities in the region, because each city, um, staffs their own crossing guards and they set their own rules for it. It's not regulated by any stretch. The city I live in happens to be really good. They give us good gear. They pay us whatever is considered the living wage in the region, where other places are like, here's your vest and your stop sign. You know, go stand in traffic for minimum wage. So <laughs> I'm really lucky in that, like, I have full, like, outdoor construction worker kind of gear that's provided to us. And but the coat is super heavy. Um, I usually, because I'm a perimenopausal woman, I'm usually very warm and only wear like the inner liner of my coat, which is the light fluffy part. But it's still really thick and good. And so most of the time that's all I need. But when it gets this cold, when it's like, you know, negative 15, including wind chill or colder kind of thing, I end up having to wear, like, the outer layer of the coat, too, and it's super heavy. And, I mean, it does what it needs to do. I don't freeze out there, but, oh, my God, it's so heavy and it hurts, and I guess that's what happens when you're, like, a five-foot-two woman who is crossing guard compared to much, usually, larger people, I guess, <laughs> wearing those kinds of uniforms. Um... Yeah, luckily it's four degrees here going up to seven later. Nice. I could go for a little four and seven. It what it, that's what it often ranges around here nowadays. Um, we've just, you know, had a polar vortex collapse over Ontario recently. So we're we're in that deep freeze right now, that's all. Um, I don't have a pain condition, but I have cerebral palsy and spasmodic muscles and the cold. It's just, it's terrible. Oh, yeah, it would be. I can imagine, especially for muscle spasms, how that would be a trigger. Um, I need you to buy me a Canadian coat and ship it to me. I know, just about, right? Because I know, because even Agent was getting it where he is. And, um, I mean, I think he's used to some fairly cold winters, but I think even that was a lot for him. Oh, I'm slowly working my way up to getting to work this morning. I'm just not there yet. I medicated this morning. I'm a medical cannabis patient. Um, and uh, I just medicated. That's why it took me a couple extra minutes to come to stream. So I'm just working my way up to getting to work this morning. Oh. Same twinsies. Yes. 
There aren't, uh, you know what, a lot of fibromyalgia payment patients, because I think that's what you mentioned one of your pain conditions was, was when I was tuning in. Um, I remember them, uh, like, I, I, I know a lot of fibro patients who are, <laughs> who are cannabis patients, because it's the thing that helps a lot of the time when you can't take the other stuff anymore because you've taken enough of it, or, you know, so... Fibro seems to be skyrocketing since COVID. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, uh, because it's vascular, right? And, well, and nobody knows exactly what causes fibro yet, but... Okay. Let's get to work. Alright. I think I can zoom in on this a little better. No, I can't. Okay, hold on. Did we? Yes, we did. Monday was a pretty raid fun day because usually we're a pretty quiet channel. I've usually got like maybe a dozen people tops hanging out here. Um, but Monday was a fun day because like one of the like one of the largest polymer clay streamers on on Twitch, uh, C Not Bush, raided us on Monday, and I just about died. And then, <clears throat> and then when by the time our stream was over, we we still had some viewers. And then we came and visited you, and that was awesome. So <laughs> the dapper sloth. Uh, no problem. I am always really excited when I find other polymer clay artists like there's not a ton of us on the net on on twitch and those of us that are there's still a lot of them who are still variety streamers and so you don't always actually get to see them working on their polymer clay um and so like anytime i find a new polymer clay artist i'm like yes a new polymer clay artist that's english because there's actually quite a few that i do in languages i don't understand and i'm like you are great but I can't interact with you, so I'm just going to give you a follow and leave it at that, right? Um, yes, the, that, that does happen a lot of times. This was one that we started where I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I'm like, I don't know what we're doing today, guys. Help me out. And then this is what came to came to be. So I am definitely a variety streamer. Yesterday I did acrylic painting. Oh, nice. I do a little bit of, like, ink and watercolor and the odd, like, random crafty thing, but, uh, polymer clay is my jam, so that's kind of where I, I stick most of the time. Um, alright, so, I'm gonna need some tools. I accidentally bumped his hat, which is what we've been working on recently. Um, so I've gotta fix a couple of little bumps that I made there. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut out a little ISO for that. That might help me out. <clears throat> I have wicked ADHD brain. I'm always chasing the dopamine dragon. Same Z's. Same Z's. Actually, yesterday was a really bad day for that. I was just feeling like I had no dopamine at all yesterday, and it was just a miserable lump because of it. So. Hello, Kim! <laughs> Fuck off, Locke. Fuck off. <laughs> That is the fun command. Are we trying to summon Papa Lock this morning? <laughs> oh, did Lock come in? I missed it. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're trying to summon him? Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Maybe he'll arrive. 
usually comes in a little later in the morning most of the time, so... I'm really excited. I mean, winter sucks, it really does. And this cold, this cold especially, has been brutal. But I will say this, I am really, really excited about the cold for one reason, is that my winter birds have started coming to my bird feeder. I got, um, I have a little trio of dark-eyed juncos that now are hanging out at my feeder on a regular basis. And, um, so there, that's really exciting. Um, I'm going to, I haven't seen them yet, but I expect that uh, I usually get um, a pair of cardinals that winters up here that I'm hoping that I should be seeing soon too. So I'm very excited. This is like the thing that I'm most excited about right now with it being cold is that my birdies are coming about. And I get some cedar wax wings. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen those. I'll have to look that up later um Nightbot, why are you landing so good you always do that cedar wax wings i use the like um audubon society um app and i just to, just because i like to keep track of what i've seen at my feeder and like how often the um, uncommon birds come during the winter and stuff like that. That's my favorite thing. I do that a lot. So, I'm just excited. Mostly I get common house sparrows, but... Um, they're not Canadian. I don't think they are where you are. They, um... They aren't... Sp like, I mean, they do spend a lot of times in northern regions, but they are, like, along the Midwest, I think more than not the midwest the the west coast of the united united states i think i can't remember i was looking up their territory when i was marking them in the app um the other day but i don't i don't know if i still remember seeing them if they were in the maritimes though oh x oh nice thank you for providing the most appropriate link here Oh, those are pretty. Look at that pretty tail. Do you follow I Paint Burbs, Genjo Art? You should totally follow I Paint Burbs if you don't. <laughs> um, hey, hey, can we please get a shout out for I Paint Burbs too? <laughs> Something happens in your 30s that makes burbs more appealing? I think so. Like, it's totally true. It's fat, like it's fascinating. I don't, I don't know what it is. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you, thank you very much, Deb. Uh, yeah, if you don't follow I Pain Burbs, you totally should. She's actually um, um, a scientific avian illustrator, like she does it professionally but she also just paints birds for fun in cute things like cowboy boots and just mwah, and she's a fabulous person too so <laughs> okay all right gross i was typing that and they went and check and see if it was the right one yes <laughs> hey empress welcome on in good morning we are back to working on our dapper sloth today. Um, I realized though, oh, is that it? No? Darn it. I realized I lost the monocle. That somehow I didn't pay attention to where I put the monocle when I was cleaning up after stream last week. And uh, so I'm going to have to remake the monocle. But that's okay. There's a jump ring right there. It'll only take a, a minute to make it again. I paint a lot of puffins because Newfoundland. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Puffins are great.
I mean, I don't ever recall seeing one. I've never been out to Newfin Newfoundland. I'm do I tried, do I don't, I can't say it right. I'm getting stuck on mixing the word together. Um, oh no, oh, good news you have an answer for your chronic lightheadedness. I, I hope it is... A manageable thing that is also good news. Puffins are cute, but they dumb. Yes. You said it right the second time. Yeah, Newfoundland. It's, my brain is like putting the word together too, too much. Someone tell me why I'm on my phone when my PC is literally right in front of me. I don't know. I do not know. Hooray! Um, ask them about the work rate. How can you possibly lose something as large and bright and as easy to see as a TDEDBD monocle, right? I know, right? Like, it's probably in my carpet somewhere, which means I will never find it again. to put a little liquid sculpey under this hat brim because it's not actually connecting with the the background and I worry that it's gonna accident it's gonna break at some point if that's the case so I'm thinking I might put a little liquid sculpey down to like secure it in place once I'm ready to bake it again Leaving a lurk, I need to go to Michael's. You have inspired me to try actual jewelry. Excellent! I can't wait to see what you make. Um, absolutely, yeah. Um, feel free to drop by when you once you've made something. Show us pictures, drop them in the Discord, and maybe we'll watch you do them on stream. See you later, friend. Thank you! <laughs> All right. I think I fixed the bump out of that pretty well. Alright, so now I just, I need to get up a picture of a bowler hat so I can fix this shape a little bit. <laughs> Kiki has clay since when? No, no, it's not like I have a massive amount of it. Although I've got nothing compared to some polymer clay artists. Like, um, I've seen some polymer clay artists wall and they'll literally have just like walls of like the little drawer things. And I've got like one little section of drawers. <laughs> now, to be honest, I could use more section of drawers because a lot of my colors are all mixed together. Um, and I would love to be able to space them out a little bit more specifically, but I mean, yeah, compared to some people, I still have like nothing since last Tuesday. Yes. Uh, the monocle actually isn't even made of clay. I made the monocle, I used a jump ring um, and a teeny bit of UV resin and then, so it'll be clear and it'll look like that and then this will rest on his eye. I'll, I'll have to fix it afterwards, so... It's, it'll be really cool. It'll be really neat. Alright, but I need pictures of bowler hats. Alright. Let's fix up this shape a touch. There's no dip in it. I thought there was a dip in it, but there's not. Okay. Cool. 
Okay, good. I'm not getting any shot here. This is pretty good as it is. I think we did pretty good with getting the shape roughed in last time. It's like a fleck of a like a sparkle or something that got stuck in its face and I keep seeing the light reflecting off of it and I had to see what it was. And you can see it fleck <laughs> a little. just need to try to make the tip of the brim look a little bit more bowler-ish and I think the best way to do that is to just kind of do a little bit of a seam so I can like almost roll it up a tiny bit This may not be the best tool for this. <laughs> yeah, I do that kind of thing all the time. Like, my brain does not retain information for anything resembling a reasonable amount of time. It's just bad. How cold or under what conditions do they close or delay schools up there? Um, the um, general rule is that at negative 15, um, the kids are inside, like at recess. Um, and that's usually like with or without wind chill. So like, um, but I don't know... Uh, if there is an actual temperature in which they actually close the school itself. Um, I was actually looking that up, but the only one that I came up with was something like way up in northern Ontario that was saying like it's at like, like negative 35. <laughs> so, and I don't even think that was northern Ontario. It might have even... No, I think it was in northern Ontario. But like, clearly that's going to have a little bit of a different thing than down here. So I don't know. Um, my guess is somewhere in the negative 30s because that's the way they run up in Northern Ontario. Very, very cool. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool. What's up, Marshmallow? No, you're not going to come up here right now. No. Hi. 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 We're we're having our mandatory mellow moment with marshmallow, are we? I'm always fascinated by the different ways or regions handle situations. Oh, yeah. Um, I agree. One of the most interesting things that I found between, like, here and was in New York City, uh, Mallowins, yeah, was um, in New York City, 
Um, because, I mean, here I'm used to, like, we have snow plows and salt trucks and, um, and that's how snow is maintained, right? Like, it all gets plowed off to a side of a road and, like, built up in big embankments kind of thing. Um, and that's just how snow is maintained here. And that's what I, of course, grew up with as normal. And then I went to New York City in the middle of a blizzard once. And um, we went to see, um, it was like a combination of like birthday and wedding gifts from like all of our members of the family so that we could go see Waiting for Godot on Broadway um, starring Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. And, like, this was, like, a lifelong, like, like all of the best things of a dream situation coming together for hunters. So it was something, like, we asked everybody to help us fund. And, like, that was our all of our gifts for everything that year. Um, and so we went to New York City and we landed in the middle of a blizzard. <laughs> and we landed in the middle of a blizzard. In New York City. And so, because New York City is, of course, so dense, there's nowhere to actually, like, plow stuff off to the side to. That they literally get, like, backhoes and load it into, like, dump trucks and physically move it out of the city. Or, like, I don't know exactly where the, what they do with it. Maybe some of it goes in the river. I don't know. I don't even know what they did with it. But they, like, physically moved it. And, like, it blew my mind that that's what they do. And when you think about it, they have to. There's nowhere to put it. And that amount of snow would, like, melting all at once would probably, like, flood the subways. Um, but it was just, like, really interesting to see, like, just that kind of difference, too. You got points this there. Yeah. Yeah, marshmallow. Interesting play too. We got to we have the autographed played bills from both Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. Um from that trip, which is really cool. I mean, not it's not too often you get to meet like two of your science fiction heroes at once. So, like, it was clearly, like, I mean, I, I appreciate them as actors and, and I appreciate the work that they've done, but I'm not, like, a super fan of those kinds of things like Hunter is. So I let him be the one to, like, get close to the front of the crowd so that he could actually get autographs and stuff like that when they were signing autographs after the show. Bless their hearts, signing autographs in a blizzard after the show. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, like, that was a, a really awesome experience that I'll, I'll never get to have again, despite the fact that it was in the middle of, like, a massive blizzard. Yes, um, you get oh, used to it in small amounts. I've gone to enough conventions and things like that and had brief interacting interactions with famous people that for the, like, going up and talking to them for the purpose of, oh, hi, I love you, can I have your autograph? And knowing that that's what the interaction is going to be because that's the setting you're in, that I'm okay with. Like, that I could get used, like, I'm, I'm at an okay level with. But if I, like, just bumped into, like, Ian McKellen on the street, I'd be like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave you alone because you deserve better than this kind of thing, right? Like, I'd be a bumbling idiot, but... Um, I've kind of gotten myself used to it in, in a Comic-Con setting, because that's exactly, like, it is an agreed-upon situation that that is what is going to happen by all parties at that point, you know? Like, I'm starstruck by my local TV people. <laughs> Are there any conventions in your area that you got, could get out to? It might be a fun thing to to plan for at some point if you if it's an option. We are still. 
still sparkles somehow here. I don't even know where they're coming from. I haven't worked with sparkles or anything like that in ages. The capital three hours away. Yeah, I guess that could be pretty tough, right? That's a lot of gas for just going for funsies, right? I'm just trying to get up a little bit of this fine edge where the clay has gotten kind of smooshed into his fur. And it's no longer like the crisp line that I'd want. I'm just trying to clean it up a little. Like you, I do not drive except Maggie, so I'd have to really coordinate and such. Cons are really something mom would do. Yeah, exactly, right? Right? And and I mean, I yeah, I understand that kind of stuff, so. I totally stopped working on this scene midway through, and I should probably finish that. public transit that far away, especially when you have your own needs for transportation is, yeah, not going to be, <laughs> not going to really be doable. a little bit so I'm gonna have to get I think some liquid scoping in here for the whole thing that's 
done with me. I just stuck my finger in resin. I'm just gonna change these cups. She probably would if I really asked. She has gone to country concerts and the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, every once in a while it's the big thing and it's it's worth asking for, right? I get that. The big important stuffs. Oh, there's the small one. If I found out Luna Lovegood, I have given her name was coming to our con, I would uh, sell feet pics to go. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Everybody's got that one uh, celebrity that they'd like do anything to meet. Mine was Will Wheaton. The first time he came anywhere near where I lived, I'm like, I don't care, we're going. <laughs> I did and it was not the great experience I wished it was and I understand now that it was because he was going through a very bad time in his life at that time but uh, I get that feeling I would love to meet him again because I would love to like be able to have a second first impression of him when he's like literally not at his lowest point in his life as he was then So I'm just kind of trying to get the liquid Sculpey and the clay underneath to kind of blend together. Um, to fill in these little cracks and give it some more stability back.
want to have plenty on it. So, try and find a brush that's small enough but also stiff enough. Sorry, you hear me talking to myself about paintbrushes right now, but... liking how this um, the liquid sculpey changes the texture a little bit um, on it and I think it's gonna help me get that um, slightly felted look but I'm now using liquid sculpey to texture I do also need to before I can get too far into this texturing Get just enough liquid sculpey on down here to secure the hat to the background like I was talking about earlier. Visit Debs of only feet page, right? If you had to, you know, exploit yourself and can make money off of it, your feet, sure, cool beans. I mean, clearly Deb is joking, but I could see how people might be interested in doing that. <laughs> I kind of need more liquid sculpey there when I'm done. I cannot get that spot to connect, but I'll fix it after, before we bake it. You know what? Somebody's into everything. Most of the time that's harmless and whatever. <laughs> as long as it's harmless and whatever, whatever.
I mean, I don't get it, but whatever. <laughs> I I am the opposite of of being attracted to feet. I like despise feet with everything that I am. I think that they're awful, awful little things. <laughs> like, and nobody should ever see, and nobody should ever, like, I don't know. Yet I like my own, I don't hate my own feet. Like, I'll, I'll do my best to make my own feet look nice, and I'll, like, wear flip-flops and stuff, but, like, I really hate feet. Like, I, I can accept them passively. In society, they exist. People wear sandals, whatever. But don't make me get up close and look at them and think about it. Like, nope. No thanks. Gross. Mine is still very much like baby feet because I've never truly walked, so they never develop proper arches and all that jazz. I'm sure somebody would care about that. <laughs> We're going to leave it at that, though. So now what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of work with the chalk pastels to uh, darken the color of the hat. Twitch, what up with you? Why am I losing frames? Time for elevensies. This is probably going to get darker than I had meant it to because the liquid sculpey is damp. But 
to hope that you do this gently enough that it does not but I still get some variation in color and texture. Okay, yeah, like, I, I'm dropping frames, so I'm not sure what's going on, but hopefully it'll come, fix it on its own. It's not anything on my end, so. It's a Twitch server somewhere something thing. We are about to go off for 11sies, so I'm going to put up our, we're going to head off for 11sies. I'm not going to put up the 11z screen today because Marshmallow is in the window, so you can have Marshmallow window. While I'm off, I'm going to go do the usual, uh, still think we should blame Kiki just to be honest. Yes, of course. It, you wouldn't, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be agent if it wasn't some ornery. All right, we will be back. We're going to go have 11sies. Um, everybody go take care of yourselves, take your meds, uh, bio breaks, you know, all that jazz. We'll be back very shortly.
Hello. Hello, love. Welcome in. Oh, work, drop, work suck enough to need to drop TP. I see. I see. Is that what it was? <laughs> it started snowing at lunchtime. We had to stay. Journey back home took 40 minutes longer. Ew, gross. Kiari, I missed Kiari. Wait, what? Oh, hello! Okay. Oh, came in just as I was leaving. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. Hello, Kiari. Welcome. Hello. Okay. I may guess. Glad you made it home safely. I agree. Why? Why? What is with the dropping of... Okay. I'm gonna... Uh, because it's getting worse. Like, not better. Um. Hold up. Where are my dashboards and stuff? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, quickly pop off and change servers and see Fuck if it gets off. better. Lock. Fuck there off. we go. We finished summoning Locke. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 